All right, guys. Um, hope the video wasn't too long and I wasn't blabbering too much. And I hope the bugs didn't bother you guys as much as they bothered Matt and I. Um, anyway, I'm going to quickly give an overview of the different whipping methods that I used. Uh, the first one was the accordion. Um, just Jeff has it on his site. Uh, I believe he has it on his site. Um, anyway, you grab both sides, you grab both sides, and you just start scrunching in until you have it all scrunched together, all bundled together. Then you whip it up with a, whatever whipping technique you're after, or whatever not whipping, um, and then you put your suspension on that. Um, the next one that we have is the W W accordion, which is on just Jeff's site. Um, and so that is when you fold it into a W. So you have the two corners up here and you have the very center of the hammock up in the middle. So you have a W and then you grab the two bottom ends and you fold it up into an accordion. Uh, and then you cinch that up and bundle it up. Uh, then the next one we had was the Hennessy version, the patent version, um, which is, I believe it's this one over here. No, that's the roll. The Hennessy pattern version is this one over here. No, that's the roll. <laughs> Maybe I did the Hennessy. I did the Hennessy on that. Sorry, so we'll cut all this out. So, um, so the next one I had was the Hennessy pattern version. That is the uh, you fold the two outer sides in. So the two sides come onto the inside uh, on the top, and then from there you fold. You just keep folding them in. So they're all, f everything folds into the middle and at the end you have the Hennessy um, pattern version. I put a link on that on, in the thread. Um, if you're interested, I, I've, up until recently, I haven't been doing it that way. I always thought it was underneath that you folded it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's on the top that you fold it. So I'm gonna give that more of a go, see what that's like. The next one we had was the, um, the do-it-yourself Hennessy version by Head Change for You, I believe his name is. And that's this one over here. I've got some bug something. Bird poo or something. Oh no, that's probably some of your iced coffee. <laughs> that's fine. Anyway, that's what we have over here. It's quite comfortable. Like I said, this is probably one of my favorite hammocks that I've made. Probably one of my favorite hammocks that I've bought. I have a Grand Trunk. I have a Hennessy. Um, I've had... A few other ones, I've never had a war bonnet, I'm wanting to get a war bonnet, but I just don't have the money, and if I've made one that's similar, I'm happy with that. Anyway, this is one of my favorites, it's the head change for you, uh, do-it-yourself Hennessy version, quite comfortable, I do not want to touch the ends because I have it exactly where I want it and I can fall asleep like that. Um, that the, the Hennessy do-it-yourself version, uh, you do the same. Same thing, you fold the two ends on the inside, then you flip it upside down, and from there, upside down, you start rolling in. Um, so that's the main difference between the do-it-yourself version and the actual Hennessy. Um, the actual Hennessy, you keep it all right way, right way up, and you just fold everything towards the center. The do-it-yourself version, you fold the first two towards the center, flip it upside down, and from there you roll. So no folding, it's rolling in. Well, it is folding, but you're not folding to the center. You just folding slowly in towards the center um, and then you have the basic channel the basic channel is just where you sew a hole into your into a channel into your hammock and uh, you put a continuous loop through that and that's how all the generic uh, Grand Trunk, Ian, Ian o, um, all of those do it um, I don't like that but I guess that can work if you're wanting to put a little little bar in it to make it wider. I haven't done that yet. I'm wanting to do that. Uh, then the last version is the Blackbird, and we'll go over and have a look. We'll go over this side. The Blackbird. I already I showed you how to do it. Uh, you put you put a rope through some sort of rope through the uh, channel, then you wrap it around and tie it so it's like this. Um, the only difference between this one and the Blackbird is this is the hybrid version by um, X Trekker, uh, which I only just found out 
couple of days ago and I tried it and it's quite quite nice it's quite cool how it works uh, he does the same technique he puts a, a, a uh, zip tie in the channel if you can see that that's a zip tie and he he puts a zip tie in there just to give it structure and then he loops the the um, the whoopee sling through as you can see it's coming through and then he loops his um, ridge line through the whoopee sling so they're both actually tightening on themselves as you put pressure on it so there's no way it's going to come undone um, so that's the hybrid version and the blackboard is very similar but you just don't put it on the inside um, I think most people know what the blackbird is Naughty does a version of it uh, yeah, so that's that's just an overview of the whipping techniques we've used. I've, I've shown you today. I hope they come in handy. I hope I made a lot of sense. I hope I wasn't rushing through or um, just not making sense. Um, yeah, so thanks for that, guys. I hope it helps out.